Hey guys, it's Gina. Welcome back to Chasing Sunset. So, first week of January 2022, and I know a lot of people do New Year's resolutions. And if you watched my video back in October where I talked about what resolutions that I incorporate in October in the fall, I think I called it change resolutions um, because I typically always start my new habits or try to in the fall. And again, I think it has something to do with the school system because, you know, you start a new year in the fall, not in the dead of winter. So I think that's just how my brain works. So I wanted to give you an update on that because I had given you five change resolutions that I wanted to do. One of them was finish school. That's still a work in progress. I'm not there yet, but I'm getting further and further along. So I'm super happy with my progress. Um, wish it could go a little faster because, oi, I am done. But we're getting there. Um, the one of them was incorporate exercise and get fit again because I am not getting younger and I want to be active and there for my child and really, um, you know, be able to keep up with her. She just turned four. I'm about to be 48. Oh, so, but I did. I did. I started kickboxing. Um, I joined a kickboxing class and I have been going and I have really, really enjoyed it. It has been fun. It teaches a uh, technique, but it also does cardio and strength and flexibility. So it's kind of like an all over body thing. And I've really, really enjoyed it. So I totally recommend that if you are getting sluggish and you think you want to try something, just try something fun. You can do it. You can do it. Um, and it doesn't matter if you're the oldest one in the class, the youngest one in the class, it doesn't matter. Just do it. You'll have fun with it. Um, one of the other change resolutions that I had, let's see, I had school and fitness and then, oh, minimalizing. I have been really working on minimalizing more things out of the house. So it is amazing how when you start looking at your things differently, you realize that a lot of it is just clutter and you're not using it and it just, you don't miss it whenever you get rid of it. So we're kind of doing it in a slow boat way, um, just kind of, you know, making it happen when we get a chance. But I do keep a box in our laundry room and I just fill things up and then when it gets full, I take it and then I start another box. And so, you know, sometimes three boxes may go out in a month. Sometimes 10 boxes may go out in a month if I just get a wild hair or something. So, um, but that's been really fun as well. And then one of the other things that I wanted to do was incorporate a few more crafts. And on the crafts, um, I know me, I know that true to myself, I don't want something that's going to take six months to complete. I want an easy craft. I want something that I can sit down, start to finish, get it done within a couple of hours, and that's including cleanup and everything else. And so uh, this fall and Christmas, I made a couple of wreaths, and they were really simple wreaths, but they were super cute. I've also um, just made a few other little little things like that. And it has been so relaxing just to take an hour here or a couple hours there and do that. So that was a lot of fun. And so I hope to continue because, you know, typically I think of crafts a lot of times in the fall and, and Christmas time. But I am actually going to work on trying to maybe make a spring wreath or maybe, um, I don't know, a swag or something. And, and just find something that's just fun and festive. So I do intend to kind of keep that going as well. But it's not something that I want to do all the time. It's just something that I need an outlet from time to time. And so, and I keep it small and that keeps me in chasing my sunset, which is very, very important when you want to incorporate a new habit. You need it to actually be true to yourself because you can say you want to do all this great stuff and it's great, but if it's not really who you are, it's going to cause you stress and stress is not chasing your sunset. So um, and then one of the other things that I wanted to do was more um, baking and, you know, experimenting with some whole food plant-based um, recipes, kind of some more fun things. And we really had an opportunity to do that. Now, I'm not going to tell you all of them turned out good because that would be lying. <laughs> but um, I did try a few sugar cookie recipes. Um, 
some of them were better than others. Um, but you know, we did have some really great cookies at Christmas time. We had some good dips. Uh, we made some, uh, good cheeses out of cashews that we found recipes and we kind of morphed this recipe and this recipe and this recipe and made it our own. A couple of them just, no, not so much, but that's okay because you want to play with things. You want to try new things. If you don't try something new, you'll never find your new favorite. And so I just encourage you that even if you are one of those that, you know, doesn't like to do New Year's resolutions or you just, or you are doing them, but then you get stressed out from it, tweak it, make it your own, make sure you're being true to yourself, do it in a way that chases your sunset, doesn't add more stress because, yeah, because that's what we need, more stress. <laughs> really? <laughs> so <clears throat> go forth and try something new. Pick, pick a habit that you want to try. Maybe it is, you know, exercising and, you know, you can find a class. Maybe you can start a walking group in your neighborhood. Maybe you can find, I, I found all these free apps also that I think Nike has like a free app now that's Nike to move or something. I don't remember the name of it, but it happened to be one of the ad pop-up things when I was doing something else. I thought, well, that's interesting. And so, I mean, you know, it, you don't have to have like a lot of equipment or really even a lot of space. A lot of times just, you know, a space in your floor or, you know, in the middle of your living room or at the end of your bed in your bedroom or something. That's all it takes. Sometimes just a space next to a wall. Um, there's a lot of different, you know, exercises you can do using a wall or a chair and, um, and by incorporating your own body weight, you make it harder as you get more fit. So the beauty of that is do it gently, love your body and just remember that you will get there. So all you have to do is just keep trying. So go chase your sunset. Um, enjoy 2022 Tell me, are you doing New Year's resolutions? And if so, how has your first week been? So, um, and don't beat yourself up because you know what? Next week is another week. Huh, go figure. So you can always start over, but just go have fun with it and go enjoy it and um, start 2022 strong. Chase your sunset, be happy, get rid of your stress. And, you know, sometimes that is so hard to do. Easy to say, hard to do, but you can do it. So um, go have a wonderful week, chase your sunset, and I will see you next week. Bye.